everyone, สวัสดีค่ะ I'm Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very special because I'm gonna make a vlog about this activity, which was very exciting. It's the SUSS and TU Cultural Immersion Program. If you're ready, let's go. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Beam. Oh, what's your name? Hi, my name is Ing. Yes, and what about you? Hi, my name is Tan. We began our first day with a very yummy lunch because we had to prepare our energy for our first discussion together. And our first session was with a John Doctor Shannon, who was talking about the introduction to key terms about gender and sexuality. Now you're gonna see this was my first group, which is Joshua, Stephen, Leisha, and Jesse. And this was our ice breaking session. When we say S U, you say S S. S U. guys turn okay <laughs> in the most powerful way <laughs> or else Thai people won't be satisfied oh. Oh. you guys ready one two three oh <laughs> I'm Brian Sawadikar. Oh! I'm Ashley Sawadikar. Yay! Yeah. Hey. Hi! What's Abina. your name? Oh. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. So in Singapore, right, there's this university who like made their own like little shrine. They actually put like a plushie of like an avocado doll. And then they started like sort of like like offering it like snacks oh. to like pray for their grades. Wow. And then like but the school removed it. And then someone 3D printed the avocado. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. This is the original and then oh. this is the 3D print of the god. The first place we went to is the Apcom Foundation. I think this place has a very good PR to teach people how to protect themselves from HIV in a very easy way. And I also had a chance to talk to one of their speakers, which is Pijim, who is a trans man in Thailand. So stay tuned for our interview. And Pijimi, can you please give a little message for the Singapore students from the SUSS? Hi everyone. So my name is Jim. Unless you don't forget my name. <laughs> so I know that some topic is very difficult to find or rarely to uh, open the discussion in your place. But if you would like to talk with me or say something or you think uh, this topic I can help or I can listen, you can reach me by my Facebook page Jim Journeys or go through my TikTok at Jim queer underscore trans man sorry it's a little bit long but yeah <laughs> i'm here for you thank you we also went to swing foundation which the speaker talked a lot about how they helped the sex workers in thailand to protect themselves from hiv one of my friends shukri also raised a very interesting question about the mental health of the sex workers so we learned a lot more about it too other than that i also had a chance to talk to two representatives from this foundation so once again stay tuned for our interview Hey, can you give a little message for the Singapore students, please? We just have a pleasure of um, having them as a guest to come and visit Swing. Mm -hmm. We providing them about yes. how uh, we are uh, the Swing operations are, with our health access and health services, and um, regarding human rights as well. We talk slightly and, and a little bit about uh, LBGT um, situations in Thailand. So it's a, it's been fun and it's mm -hmm. been very productive and educational, that's, uh, that's great. Yeah. Mm, so we welcome everyone to come here, especially the, the guys that you're coming today. And Singapore and Thai, we have uh, something that look, look alike, mm, so, yeah. especially the people, the culture. Yeah. Singapore and Thai will be the great partner to be um, working for the community issues in the future. So when you want to invite someone, you say, Jo, Jo. J I O Jo Jo Jo. Can I invite you out, please? You wanna? You want? Can I Jo you out? Can I Jo you out? Yeah. Jo out. Hi. What are we eating? I don't know. Oh. Masaman. Oh. Masaman. Okay. And the fish. Fish. Bla. <laughs> Broccoli. Yeah. Oh, and what 
what's that? Ah, it's in English. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Which one? This one. Kai ping. Ah, mu ping. Mu ping mu is pork. Yeah. Oh. Oh. One, two, three. Tomo me ma. Tomo me ma. You read it. How would you read it? Good. Ten out of ten. Oh. 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 This is day 3 of the Cultural Immersion Program between Thammasak University and the SUSS of Singapore and today we're at Satyan Thammasakhan We're gonna have many interesting activities to do today so if you are ready, let's go! The first activity we did was folding the flower mindfully because this place was all about mindfulness We also walked around a lot but it wasn't a normal walk, it was a mindful walk so we felt peace within ourselves we also watched a movie about the history of this place and also listened to many guest speakers who are very inspiring. Then lastly, we have the sharing session between everyone from Thailand and Singapore and I think it was very inspiring and meaningful. Welcome to day 4 and we were at the Ministry of Justice in Thailand to learn more about gender equality. We met a lot of amazing people including this person next to me. I was so excited to sit next to PJ from UNDP. I also interviewed PJ about some interesting topics so please stay tuned for another video of our interview. Another interesting thing happened is that I got to be the translator and I'll post a full version of my translation later. So here's a short version first. And also measure number 10 says that as long as the defendant who is will be seen as guilty but if in the law is not actually guilty then they also need to be protected because they are still a suspect. I gotta say that day 4 was my favorite day because we got to visit BJC Company. We learned a lot about their business model and about their campaigns on how to promote gender equality in their company and for Thai community. And I also had a chance to interview one of the people from this company about their business model. So stay tuned for another video. Now you're gonna notice a little pin, right, on everybody's suit. And that's the pin that BJC gave to us for the Pride Month, or we can actually wear it every day. And as you can see from the last video, you're going to see us laughing a lot. So it's not only productive, but also very fun and exciting. This is the last day of our program. And the first activity we did in the morning was a presentation. And I enjoyed listening to everybody's presentation from Singapore students and also Thai students because everyone gave a lot of deep insights about what they learned about gender equality in Thailand for these past days. After the presentation, we had a few hours before the Singapore students leave for Singapore. So we decided to give them a little memory about the Thai food. So we let them make their own Thai food, including som tam. As you can see from this video, I guess everyone had a lot of fun doing their own som tam and eat it. And if you want to know about the taste of som tam by Xiong, let's hear from him. <laughs> How was it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have bua loi. It's a Thai dessert and I think that everyone's also enjoy doing it because we can create our own shape of bua loi and I think it was very yummy. That's it for our video if you guys are from this program. I hope you guys enjoy this video as a very beautiful memory for all of us. And if you guys are my old subscribers, then I hope you guys also learn a lot of English vocabularies as usual. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!